We're going to eat milkweed pots for boiling or pan frying. Um, I suggest taking them pretty young, uh, less than an inch old. So these guys here are going to be perfect, bite size, not too bitter. Um, they have the soft, fluffy spikes on them. And um, size is not always an indicator because when they get older, they lose those soft spikes and it gets like harder and harder ridges. So you could still eat that one, but it's going to be woody and the silk inside is going to be more stringy, chewy. So the, the feel test is the best. If you feel any hard ridges or hardness, then they're too late to pick. Sometimes you find big ones, but as long as they have those ridges, um, it's good to eat. So we're going to pick. We're picking milkweed buds. You want to pick them pretty much at this stage when they're fully formed but not open yet. And always remember, leave some for the butterflies. The monarchs will thank you. So take one. Try not to touch the white milky sap. That's toxic. Plop it in the bag. When you first have milkweed, try not to eat more than three pots at a time. See how you react. Some people get the uh, intestinal upset. When they're young, they look pretty much the same. You can't really see the, the difference in the stem because they're both developing. You normally don't see milkweed branching anywhere to develop more leaves, so only dogbane does that. Milkweed has a hollow stem and whites up, and dogbane has a similar hollow stem, but not as hollow. Unless you're really sure, I wouldn't do it. I'd rather mark the spot, go back there in, in fall and see how they look when they're older. What we're gonna do with those milkweed pods is, we're throwing them in the water for five minutes, and they like to float, so I like to discourage that. They need to go in for the last minute. We're just gonna put them in buttermilk. Um, they don't really need to marinate, just get wet, but... And they go for about two, three minutes, or till brown. All right, these are pretty much ready. I just keep them on low and white wine. And some nut wheat jelly. Some people use it as um, the seeds in the soak as um, cream cheese substitute. This has been a production of West Virginia Public Broadcasting.